Sir Francis Drake's landing on the west coast of North America in 1579 has drawn the attention of scores of historians, geographers, linguists, anthropologists and other professionals. In addition, many history buffs have sought to locate Drake's New Albion. More than a score of ideas have been put forth. Covering the coast from Alaska to Southern California. These ideas span the 18th through the early 21st centuries. Topic. Accepted site The accepted site for Drake's 1579 landing at New Albion is at Drake's Cove in Drake's Bay in Marin County, California. 38.034 degrees north 122.940 degrees west, 38.034, minus 122. 940. Topic. Other ideas More than 20 other locations have been advanced as the site of Drake's port. Davidson recognized a plethora of confusion from chiefly armchair historians including Samuel Johnson and Jules Verne. Brian Callagher has published the most extensive listing of individuals' opinions of the Drake Landing site comprising over 140 people. Some writers have suggested that Queen Elizabeth's desire to maintain secrecy of the locations and extent of Drake's North Pacific explorations led to suppression and obfuscation of the reports. The defeat of the Spanish Armada by Drake in 1588 obviated the need for any secrecy. Michael Turner's visits to Drake sites around the world show that the records are very accurate. Following the coast from north to south, the suggested locations include <laughs> Prince William Sound Laird Nelson proposed that Drake sailed as far north as Prince William Sound, Alaska 60 degrees north 146.5 degrees west, 60, minus 146.5 based on the westward run of the land in the area. Laird believes Drake was at 58 degrees north and may have been even further north. Drake then turned south to anchor at Birch Bay, Washington. Topic. Stevens Passage. Samuel Balfe maps Drake's voyage as far north as the Stevens Passage 53.233 degrees north 133.759 degrees west, 53.233, minus 133.759 in the now state of Alaska. Balfe proposes that Drake established New Albion at Comox Bay see below, and careened the Golden Hind at Whale Cove see below. Topic. Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada Topic. Victoria, Vancouver Island, BC In December, 2013, metal detector operator Bruce Campbell found an English coin made between 1551 and 1553 near Victoria, British Columbia. While Campbell believes the coin is only the oldest thing he's likely to ever find, and Royal British Columbia Museum curator Grant Keddie did not believe the find can be connected to Drake, Samuel Balfe see below, says the coin is proof the English arrived here Canada, first point four eight point four two five degrees north 123.425 degrees west, 48.425, minus 123.425 Loose finds such as coins have little value in establishing landing sites. Topic. Comox Bay, Vancouver Island, BC In 2003 Canadian R. Samuel Balfe suggested that Drake's New Albion was Vancouver Island and that Drake erected a post containing such a proclamation at what is today Comox, British Columbia, located on Vancouver Island. 49.66 degrees north 124.95 degrees west, 49.66, minus 124.95 Balfe supports the idea that Drake completed the Nikani Mountain Survey and believes Drake careened the Golden Hind in Whale Cove, Oregon. He points to a number of pieces of evidence in support of his view that the official published record of Drake's voyage was deliberately altered to suppress the true extent of his discoveries. 
Wolf also relies heavily upon the configuration of the coastline as depicted in some of the maps and globes of the era, including the so-called French and Dutch Drake maps which depict his voyage as having reached a point northward of a chain of islands to the northwest of New Spain and other maps depicting New Albion at latitudes above those of Northern California, such as Richard Hacklout's 1587 map of the New World showing Nova Albion at 50 degrees north latitude. Wolf also placed emphasis on the fact that on an initial rendition of his globe in 1592 Emery Molyneux depicted the line of the coast of North America behind Vancouver Island with remarkable accuracy, although the islands themselves, depicted on the French and Dutch Drake maps, do not appear. Although Bob Ward initially drew some of the discrepancies between the official published accounts of Drake's voyage and other documents to Balfe's attention, and concluded that Drake likely sailed much farther to the north than Northern California, he has been critical of some of Balfe's conclusions, such as Drake's erecting a post proclaiming New Albion at what is now Comox Bay. Balfe's claims regarding spectral analysis and four matching islands have been disputed by Derek Hayes. Oliver Seeler disputes Balfe's conclusions as does Eric Powell. Balfe's work has also been criticized by Edward von der Porten, president of the Drake Navigators Guild. Von der Porten calculates that Balfe's theory requires the Golden Hind to have traveled an average of 5.95 knots in a ship capable of less than one knot in those conditions. Further, Balfe fails to identify the White Cliffs, the islands of St. James or the Coast Miwok people. Von der Porten states that Balfe has no evidence for either the conspiracy or his 10 degree rule. Dr. John Sugden describes Balfe's proposed route for Drake into Alaska and British Columbia, then concludes, there is simply no evidence for this adventure, which even Balfe admits is impossible to reconcile with the records of the voyage. Topic: <laughs> Foul Bay, Vancouver Island, BC. In 2013, Bob Graham proposed that Drake landed at Foul Bay 48.4116 degrees north 123.3287 degrees west, 48.4116, 123.3287 at the southern end of Vancouver Island. Foul Bay is within the city of Victoria, at the city's southeast corner. <laughs> Boundary Bay, BC About 1995, Will Pawlik, a local historian and environmentalist, suggested Drake landed at Boundary Bay 49.0795 degrees north 122.8595 degrees west, 49.0795, minus 122.8595 northeast of Point Roberts, Washington and to the east of Vancouver Island. Birch Bay, Washington Fisherman Laird Nelson has proposed that Drake left Guachulco, Mexico, headed west 2,100 miles, then magnetic north for 2,700 miles with three ships, the UN renamed Pelican, the Los Reyes, a captured Spanish vessel, and a pinnace. From that point, the ships traveled an additional 550 miles north to Prince William Sound and back along the coast. The ships then traveled 700 miles south through the inside passage to the first of three landing sites, Birch Bay. 48.92 degrees north 122.78 degrees west, 48.92, minus 122.78 here. On the third day, the Pelican sank. Nelson does not explain how Drake could have covered 5,350 miles west and north when the world encompassed establishes the distance traveled as 1,400 English 16th century leagues, which is only 4,000 miles. Laird's distance of 4,800 miles for the west and first portion north is equivalent to 1,400 modern leagues. Laird's proposal has Drake traveling the entire distance and dangerous inside passage at surprising speed, covering the 6,600 miles in 62 days. Topic: <laughs> Lummy Bay, Washington. Nelson proposed that after the loss of his flagship, Drake explored in a small boat for five days and then moved the Los Reyes to a second port at Lummi Bay, Washington. 48.77 degrees north, 122.67 degrees west, 48.77, minus 122.67. Here Drake careened the Los Reyes. Sandy Point, Washington 
Nelson puts Drake's second anchorage at Sandy Point, Washington, a part of Lummi Bay, where Drake reportedly spent the second week of his New Albion visit. 48.73 degrees north, 122.54 degrees west, 48.73, minus 122.54 at Post Point. Within Bellingham Bay, Drake created his monument, a rock carvings in the cliff face of King Henry VIII and his sixth wife Catherine Parr. Initials attributed to the carver, Richard Cadwell, were inscribed. The three-ton rock carvings have been knocked down, but still there in 2000. The plate of brass refers to the thick coat of bottom paint the carver put over the carvings. <laughs> <laughs> Strait of Juan de Fuca Robert Ward proposes that Drake ventured as far north as the Strait of Juan de Fuca, 48.478 degrees north 124.688 degrees west, 48.478, minus 124.688 but traveled south to Whale Cove see below, to careen the Golden Hind and establish New Albion. It should be noted that the Strait of Juan de Fuca is the only practical access to Comox Bay, given the difficult waters and warlike tribes of the Johnston Strait. Nehalem Bay, Tillamook County, Oregon In 1971, Don Viles and Wayne Jensen published the idea that Drake landed at Nehalem Bay, source, 45.686430 degrees north 123.932860 degrees west, 45.686430, minus 123.932860, Gary Gidson has continued to support this idea. Gitson claims the Nikani Mountain Survey, the Hondius Map, the Edward Wright World Chart of 1599, the Nihalem Indians and the Three Arch Rocks prove Drake's landing site was in Nihalem Bay, Oregon as well as the Indian culture of the Pacific Northwest. Gitson argues that the survey is a formal survey by Robert Schultz ASCE and Philip Costagini's 1981 Oregon State Thesis, Survey of Artifacts at Nikani Mountain, Oregon 1976-1981 are the coastal area 2 to 4 miles north of Nihalem Bay encompassing the area up to 1 mile over the countryside of Nikani Mountain. The incised rocks and cairns are explained as recordings of a land survey and latitude showing angles and bearings in the treasure rocks of Nia Kar Nie Mountain 2012, the W. Rock which has components that represent a combination of sun and star sighting points to determine the longitude, date and time and day, and the Rays Rock, which is a compass rose point used to measure points on Nikani Mountain and beyond. Gitson claims the outline and topography of Nihalem Bay match the Hondius map, and that the islands of St. James are the three arch rocks 13 miles south of the entrance to Nihalem Bay. An article, Edward Wright's World Chart 1599 published in the Blind Peer Review. Terre Incogniti. Journal of the Society for the Histories of Discoveries contains Queen Elizabeth's Privy Seal. The only such map of the 16th century to carry the Queen's seal. The map was originally published in 1599 by Richard Hacklout and reissued by the Hacklout Society's two-volume publication. The Hacklout Handbook 1974, where it is identified by David Beers Quinn, editor, and Helen Wallace, map curator of the British Museum, both agree the map is the most authentic map Hacklout published in his books. Whale Cove, Lincoln County, Oregon In 1978 British amateur historian Bob Ward, after making a study of the geography of the Pacific coast of the U.S. and Canada, suggested that Drake actually landed much farther north, in Whale Cove in present-day Oregon. 44.788944 degrees north 124.0706.89 degrees west, 44.788944 Minus 124.070689 Advocates of the Whale Cove theory argue that when Captain James Cook first sighted the American coast at Cape Fulweather two centuries later, he described it in his log, with unknowing accuracy, as the long-looked-for coast of New Albion. Whale Cove lies just north of Cape Fulweather. Advocates of the Whale Cove theory dismiss the latitude given by Drake on the grounds that he may have deliberately falsified it in order to deceive the rival Spanish. Although the official account of Drake's voyage gives the anchorage location as 38 degrees, the only two known handwritten accounts of the voyage, preserved in the British Library, say that it was at 44 degrees, which is on the mid-Oregon coast. 
Drake and Queen Elizabeth, they argue, falsified the location because he mistakenly thought he had discovered the Northwest Passage when he found, and sailed into, the Strait of Wanda Fuka, which today separates Vancouver Island, British Columbia from the mainland Olympic Peninsula of Washington State. In 2012, Ward established a website supporting Whale Cove. Melissa Darby has established the Drake Anchorage Research Collaboration (DARC) in support of the possible Whale Cove landing site. Whale Cove is the site identified by Ball as Drake's careening location. Ward, Ball, and Darby do not agree on the general route taken by Drake, but all have Drake's careening site at Whale Cove. Whale Cove remains an unnavigable bay in a dangerous part of the Oregon coast. Mariners are advised to stay at least 600 yards offshore for the distance one mile north of Whale Cove to one mile south of Whale Cove. Whale Cove is not considered a usable bay by any size of vessel. Topic. Oregon Dunes, Oregon The Drake Navigators Guild studied the landfall site for Drake, the place where he found land after his northwest, then east sailing, and determined that the site was Oregon Dunes. 43.298 degrees north, 124.397 degrees west, 43.298, minus 124.397. This site had the same mysterious snow. Even though the temperatures were well above freezing as were observed by Captain George Vancouver in 1792, the site is a recognized Oregon landmark. Topic. South Cove, Oregon The accepted site of the Bad Bay described by Drake is South Cove, Oregon. 43.597 degrees north, 124.202 degrees west, 43.597, minus 124.202. It is here that Drake anchored, but was unable to land or repair his ship. Topic. Port Orford, Coos County, Oregon Breton reported that local citizens had suggested that Drake had landed at Port Orford, Oregon. 42.741 degrees north, 124.496 degrees west, 42.741, minus 124. 496. Chetco River, Curry County, Oregon Breton reported that local citizens had suggested that Drake had landed at the Chetco River in Oregon. 42.045 degrees north, 124.271 degrees west, 42.045, minus 124. 271. Trinidad Bay, Humboldt County, California In 1926, Henry Wagner wrote about Drake's circumnavigation. Determining that Drake would have stopped at the first suitable location, Wagner concluded that Drake spent most of his time at Trinidad Bay. 41.057 degrees north, 124.144 degrees west, 41.057, minus 124. 144. Campbell Cove, Bodega Bay, Sonoma County, California In 1894, Edward Berthold wrote in National Geographic that the geography of Bodega Head and its proximity to the Farallon Islands seemed to point to Bodega Bay as Drake's landing site. Brian T. Callagher established a website which concludes that Drake careened at Bodega, California. 37.407 degrees north, 122.107 degrees west, 37.407. 122.107 Bob Graham has evaluated the reported latitudes and the technologies available to Drake. If the 38 minus 1 half degree value is more accurate than the 38 degree value, and if Drake took a scientific series of experimental data and averaged it for which there is no evidence, then the Bodega Bay latitude is more likely to be right than the Drake's Bay latitude. In comparison to other reported Drake latitudes across the globe, the reported latitudes establish that Drake's harbor was within one half degree of 38 degrees north latitude or 38 to half a degree north latitude based on average errors. Topic: <laughs> Tom Ailes Bay, Marin County, California. Topic: Sand Point. 
just inside the entrance to Tomales Bay, behind sand point 38.2317 degrees north 122.967 degrees west, 38.2317, minus 122.967 is a location which has been suggested as Drake's Landing Site. Topic. Tom's Point Historian Robert Becker found a location to which the Hondius broadside map could apply at Tom's Point on the east side of Tomales Bay. 38.171 degrees north, 122.913 degrees west, 38.171, minus 122. 913. Drake's Bay, Marin County, California One of San Francisco's earliest historians, Frank Soule, wrote in support of a Drake's Bay landing site. George Davidson concluded that Drake was at Drake's Bay, but believed the actual careening point was just inside Point Reyes Head. 37.994 degrees north 122.974 degrees west, 37.994, minus 122.974 Davidson's work was based on sailing the coast. The identification of the careening point required exploring the site the way the artist of the Hondius broadside inset viewed the site. Topic: <laughs> Bolinas Bay, Marin County, California. Two Bolinas Bay locations have been proposed. Topic: <laughs> Agate Beach. George Epperson believed Drake stayed at Agate Beach 37.9 degrees north 122.713 degrees west, 37.9, minus 122.713 at Bolinas Bay in Marin County, California. Epperson collected many objects from the area, but none could be linked to Drake. Topic. Bolinas Lagoon In 1974, Aubrey Neesham and William Pritchard wrote in support of Bellina's Lagoon 37.906 degrees north 122.682 degrees west, 37.906, minus 122.682 as Drake's landing site. <laughs> San Francisco Bay, California Topic. San Francisco Bay, generally Several claims put Drake in San Francisco Bay, but did not establish where in the bay Drake visited and then careened the Golden Hind. These include Robert Greenhow in 1845, Jules Verne in 1879 and Samuel Johnson. Topic. Strawberry Cove, Marin County, California Dwayne Van Diemen developed a notion that Drake entered San Francisco Bay and careened the Golden Hind at Strawberry Cove. 37.888 degrees north 122.511 degrees west, 37.888, minus 122.511 Van Diemen relies on the Hondius broadside insert being a formal overhead map which does not correspond with the conventions of the 16th century or the other Hondius inserts. Van Diemen ignores the other problems with all San Francisco Bay claims including the multiple harbors, the lack of continuous fog, the difficulty of finding San Francisco Bay from the sea and the dangers of entering San Francisco Bay on an unknown basis. Topic. Larkspur, Marin County, California Robert Stupak believes Drake established New Albion at Portsmouth Cove 37.967 degrees north 122.495 degrees west, 37.967, minus 122.495 and then careened the Golden Hind at Larkspur. 37.943 degrees north 122.504 degrees west, 37.943, minus 122.504 Stupak believes. Drake's treasure was cached in the area and has done extensive excavations. 525,000 pounds of material have been removed from the site. 
37.9495 degrees north 122.5142 degrees west, 37.9495, minus 122.5142 in 2017, Stupak claimed, there are 7,347 million people on this planet who would like to find a buried treasure on their property. It happened to me. Topic. Point San Quentin, Marin County, California Robert H. Power co-owner of the Nut Tree in Vacaville, CA, promoted the idea that Drake's New Albion was inside San Francisco Bay near Point San Quentin. Point 37.939400 degrees north 122.486700 degrees west, 37.939400, minus 122.486700 Among his arguments was that the Hondius broadside map matched a part of the topography when parts were adjusted using a 2 to 1 correction. Among the problems with Power's idea is the difficulty of sailors finding San Francisco Bay from the ocean it was first discovered by land and the first sea attempts to then locate the bay failed, the lack of continuous foggy weather, the multitudes of good harbors, and the extreme dangers of entering such a bay on an unknown basis. To support his idea, Power formed an organization called Nova Albion Explorations which supported investigative work including archaeology of San Francisco Bay shellmounds. The excavations did not reveal any historic material which would lead anyone to believe the site experienced any contact with Caucasian parties of the 16th century. A. Bray Dickinson supported an Upper San Francisco Bay site in 1954, Walter Starr and Francis Farquhar supported the San Quentin site. <laughs> Olompali, Petaluma River, Marin County, California Robert C. Thomas advocates that Drake landed at Olompali, on the Petaluma River, inside San Francisco Bay, under the shelter of cliffs. At Drake's Bay, Thomas believes Drake's men saw seagulls that rode east on updrafts, so that the men could see that the land over which they the birds were flying was really a peninsula, a Marin County peninsula formed by the Pacific Coast and San Francisco Bay. The home-bound gulls swept inland to Olompali. Thomas dismisses the likelihood that Drake stayed at Drake's Bay, but instead headed south. Thomas believes that while there appeared to be no break in the shoreline showing San Francisco Bay, Drake ran into a strong current, risking imminent danger. Drake was committed to an uncontrollable approach and then miraculously found that they had passed through the Golden Gate. According to Thomas, over the next five days, Drake explored the 21 nautical miles in the northwest portion of San Francisco Bay, ignored numerous promising harbors, and moved his ship on June 21 to Choc Olam, the port near Olomp Alley. 38.119 degrees north, 122.515 degrees west, 38.119, minus 122.515. Thomas glosses over the fact that the Marin Peninsula is not visible or discernible from the coast. Thomas does not solve the problems with any proposed San Francisco Bay Drake landing site. The difficulty of sailors finding San Francisco Bay from the ocean it was first discovered by land and the first sea attempts to then locate the bay failed, the lack of continuous foggy weather, the multitudes of good harbors, and the extreme dangers of entering such a bay on an unknown basis. Thomas also proposes that Drake sailed inland a significant distance quickly without it being noted in any of the accounts. Topic. Grizzly Bay, Susan Bay, Solano County, California Alan Shue suggested that Drake landed at Grizzly Bay 38.130 degrees north 122.033 degrees west, 38.130, minus 122.033 in Susan Bay, Solano County, California. Half Moon Bay, San Mateo County, California Alan Brown posed the question, Did Drake land here? in 1960.37.5 degrees north, 122.49 degrees west, 37.5, minus 122. 49 Point Ano Nuevo Cove, San Mateo County, California 
Louise Welshens Buell, Harry Morrison, Richard Scott, and Gerald Weber suggested that Drake landed at Point Anno Nuevo Cove. 37.116 degrees north, 122.312 degrees west, 37.116, minus 122. 312. Monterey Bay, Monterey County, California Around 1934, a bottle found with a thin, rolled lead plate was found at Monterey Bay, California. Myron Oliver and Ed Kennedy believed this proved Drake had been at that location. 36.603 degrees north, 121.88 degrees west, 36.603, minus 121. 88. <laughs> Carmel River, Monterey County, California In 1718, mission friar Juan Armando Neal speculated that Drake had entered the Carmel River. 36.536 degrees north, 121.929 degrees west, 36.536, minus 121. 929. <laughs> Pirates Cove, San Luis Obispo Bay, San Luis Obispo County, California Margie Maller reported a local legend regarding Drake Landing in San Luis Obispo Bay at a site known as Maller's Landing 35.1740 degrees north 120.7165 degrees west 35.1740, minus 120.7165 or Pirates Cove.35.175 degrees north 120.715 degrees west 35.175, minus 120.715 Robert Pate, Richard Dobson and Ethyl Sagan pursued this work. Topic: Galita, Santa Barbara County, California. Justin M. Rouge reported that he believed Drake landed at Galita, California, 34.412 degrees north, 119.839 degrees west, 34.412 minus 119. 839 Jim Gilmore believes that cannon found in the area came from Drake. 